Number 15. Ocean 1 Robotic scientists at the USS Stanford University achieved a remarkable first. They successfully sent an automated avatar, which they describe as a robo-mermaid, down to an ancient shipwreck to retrieve a vase from the sunken vessel. La Lune, the flagship of Louis XIV of France, sank 20 miles off the south coast city of Toulon in 1664. Only a few dozen of the hundreds of men on board survived. The wreck which lied at a depth of 100 meters had never been disturbed until the Ocean One robot craft reached it and recovered the grapefruit-sized vase. The humanoid diving robot was piloted using virtual reality techniques by the professor of computer science at Stanford. Sitting on a boat on the surface, he used joysticks to control the little underwater craft. He said that combining human skills with the Robo Mermaid's robust structure will transform underwater exploration. Difficulties with air supply and the danger of decompression sickness, the bends, limit divers' abilities to probe ancient wrecks and other deep sea features. However, Ocean One's success suggests it may be possible to extend underwater explorations for longer and at greater depths. The craft, which looks surprisingly like a person, has human-like vision from two forward-facing cameras, while its hands have fully articulated wrists with four sensors that relay a sense of touch to the professor's hands, using a process known as haptic feedback. The operator can feel whether an object in his robot hands is light and fragile or heavy and solid. During Ocean One's dive, the operator was able to reach out to the vase on the deck of La Lune as the craft hovered. He could feel its contours and assess its weight before he shut it in a special basket and had it carried to the surface. According to Stanford News, the vase, which had not been touched for centuries, is in remarkable good condition although it was covered in ocean detritus and smelled like raw oysters. In the words of its operator, the intent was to have a human diving virtually to put the human out of harm's way. Having a machine with human characteristics that can project the human diver at depth is going to be amazing. Ocean One will be your avatar. Number 14. Digit Already capable of unloading trailers and moving packages, Digit, a humanoid robot from Agility Robotics, is poised to take on even more tedious tasks. With fully functioning limbs, Digit is able to crouch and squat to pick up objects, adjusting its center of gravity depending on size and weight, while surface plane reading sensors help it find the most efficient path and circumvent whatever's in its way. In 2019, Agility partnered with automaker Ford to test autonomous package delivery, and in 2022, the company raised $150 million from Amazon and other companies to help Digit enter the workforce. U.S. startup Agility Robotics has announced that its bipedal robot Digit is now for sale, with the first two units bought by automaker Ford to research last-mile package delivery. Digit is approximately the size and shape of a small adult human. It's able to navigate environments semi-autonomously with the help of LiDAR and other sensors and it can carry boxes and its arms up to 40 pounds in weight. Agility Robotics says it can be put to a range of uses including in logistics, warehouses, telepresence and industrial inspection. But companies will need to find out for themselves how well Digit can manage these jobs. Although mobile, multipurpose robots have improved dramatically in recent years thanks to advances in battery and navigation tech, they've yet to prove themselves at scale. Number 13. Astra 
Aptronics Astra, the upper body of a humanoid robot which can be mounted to an autonomous mobile robot is a humanoid robot on wheels that's designed to work with and alongside human counterparts. Astra uses machine learning to learn how to pick up objects and is currently working in a variety of industries ranging from manufacturing to logistics. The robot can assist the human workforce in operations such as facility inspections, supply chain operations, and other laborious or dangerous tasks. It can be used as a general-purpose robot across multiple industries to eliminate challenges. In June 2022, Built-in reported that Aptronic raised $14.6 million to build and manufacture a new commercial humanoid robot with enhanced design that can be mass-produced. Number 12. Optimus being 5 foot 8 tall and weighing 56.7 kilograms, Optimus by Tesla seems to be a perfect fit for working in an environment surrounded by humans. It can also deadlift around 68 kilograms and can carry approximately 20 kilograms of weight. However, for now, it is planned to travel only 8 kilometers per hour. Optimus integrates with Tesla Autopilot software along with the right cameras to work as per the neural network for its FSD or full self-driving software. Its neural network works like the human brain in Tesla's self-driving EVs to analyze the surroundings through integrated cameras. It also determines what one needs to do when struck with some obstacles by labeling and recognizing different images and routes. In terms of movement capability, the Tesla robotics team is aimly extremely high, with no fewer than 18 sometimes complex movement including forward walking, squatting and squat walk, sidestepping, turning while walking, lifting objects from the ground up to eye level, squeezing or gripping an object and lifting it, climbing stairs, sliding objects, using a drill, pushing and pulling objects, and using a screwdriver. Musk mentioned that Optimus also lets users download their personality into it. They can do so by downloading some of their brain characteristics into the robot, including some of their personality traits. Although this feature is not meant to replicate everything you do or like, it will help you preserve your precious memories for life. Number 11. Toyota THR3 THR3 reflects Toyota's broad-based exploration of how advanced technologies can help to meet people's unique mobility needs. THR3 represents an evolution from previous generation instrument playing humanoid robots which were created to test the precise positioning of joints and pre-programmed movements to a platform with capabilities that can safely assist humans in variety of settings such as the home, medical facilities, construction sites, disaster-stricken areas, and even outer space. The partner robot team members are committed to using the technology in THR3 to develop friendly and helpful robots that coexist with humans and assist them in their daily lives. Looking ahead, the core technologies developed for this platform will help inform and advance future developments of robots to provide ever better mobility for all. The THR3 is controlled from a master maneuvering system that allows the entire body of the robot to be operated instinctively with wearable controls that map hand, arm, and foot movements to the robot and a head-mounted display that allows the user to see from the robot's perspective. The system's master arms give the operator full range of motion of the robot's corresponding joints and the master foot allows the operator to walk in place in the chair to move the robot forward or laterally. 
The self-interference prevention technology embedded in THR3 operates automatically to ensure the robot and user do not disrupt each other's movements. On board, THR3 and the master maneuvering system, motors, reduction gears and torque sensors are connected to each joint. These modules communicate the operator's movements directly to THR3's 29 body parts and the master maneuvering system 16 master control system for a smooth, synchronized user experience. Number 10. Artemis Artemis, the advanced robotic technology for enhanced mobility and improved stability, was designed by researchers at UCLA's Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory as a general-purpose humanoid robot with a focus on bipedal locomotion over uneven terrain. Standing 4 foot 8 and weighing in at 85 pounds, it's capable of walking on rough and unstable surfaces as well as running and jumping. Artemis is even able to remain steady when pushed or shoved. During lab tests, Artemis was clock walking at 2.1 meters per second, making it the world's fastest walking humanoid robot, the researchers noted. It's also believed to be the first humanoid robot designed in an academic setting that is capable of running and only the third such machine to do so overall. Artemis' major innovation is that its actuators were custom designed to behave like biological muscles. They're springy and force controlled as opposed to the rigid position controlled actuators found on most robots. Another major Artemis advantage is that its actuators are electrically driven rather than controlled by hydraulics. As a result, it makes less noise, operates more efficiently than robots with hydraulic actuators, and is cleaner because hydraulic systems are notorious for leaking. Number 9. Toyota Partner Robot the Toyota Partner Robots were developed to support people's everyday life. Toyota Partner Robots specializes in advances two types of technologies. One involves developing robots capable of playing musical instruments by giving the robots artificial moving lips and hands and arms equipped with many joints for improved precision and control. The other involves further development of automobile driving control technologies in order to create new stabilizing technologies for robots. The violin playing robot is capable of performing a variety of tasks with its hands and arms thanks to its multiple joints. The dexterous human-like hand movement and arm strength demonstrated by the robot when playing the violin give it the potential to be an ideal assistant around the house or a skillful caretaker. Toyota stated that their future plans for this robot are advancing further development of hand and arm flexibility in order to be able to use general purpose tools. Number 8. Universal Worker the universal worker has enough actuators to replicate the motions of a human worker. In addition, it has vision touch and a sense of its own body position. At Giant AI, they start algorithm development and simulation where ideas can be tested, evaluated, and fine-tuned. The computer vision system in the giant AI universal worker is designed to sense the world, the objects in it, and the robot's own body and hands. By seeing and comprehending these elements, the universal worker thinks and acts in a manner based on the relationship between these things. This notion of relative action plays a central role in eliminating the need for high-precision components, making the universal worker cheaper, lighter, safer, and easier to produce in high volume. 
Also, the Universal Worker robot has a rich sense of tactile contact similar to a human skin that allows giant AI's team to learn from feel which actions are correct and which are not. It's meant to replace the workforce by becoming a universal worker that can accomplish task. Number 7. Phoenix At 5 feet 7 inches and 155 pounds, Phoenix, the humanoid robot, is just about the height of an average human. What it aims to do is also something that humans can casually do, general task in an environment, and that is tough ass from a robot. Founded in 2018, Sanctuary brings the world of artificial intelligence and robotics under one roof and has been striving to make a human-like brain and system that can complete tasks with the ease humans do. Phoenix is the company's sixth-generation humanoid with hands that have 20 degrees of freedom and can mimic the agility and refined manipulation capabilities of its human counterpart, TechCrunch said in its report. The humanoid has a payload capacity of up to 55 pounds and can travel at a speed of 3 miles an hour, much like a regular human. It can also work at a retail store, just like a human. Number 6. Figure 01 In March 2023, robotics company Figure emerged and suddenly introduced its master plan to build Figure 01 an artificial intelligence humanoid robot that can think, learn, interact, and help people at work on its own. The self-moving and autonomous humanoid robot that is yet to be built is aimed to rely on the power of artificial intelligence to learn and predict its movement without anyone's help. No controls needed. Figure 01 can work for and on itself, alongside its potential abilities to free Really move. Figure says that its AI humanoid robot is designed for initial deployment into the workforce to address labor shortages and over time lead the way in eliminating the need for unsafe and undesirable jobs. Figure says that with the first humanoid by our side in the workforce, we'll have the ability to create and produce so much more, address drastic labor shortages, and reduce the number of workers in unsafe jobs. Jobs. Figure 01 is the world's first commercially viable autonomous humanoid robot, one of the latest humanoid robots ever developed, with the most sleek design you could mistake it for a movie. Number 5. Ergo Cub In modern societies, the demand for physical assistance to humans is increasing. In factories, production workers execute repetitive tasks that in the long run often cause musculoskeletal diseases. In clinics, orthopedic patients need orthosis and prosthesis to overcome their daily deficiencies. At home, elderly people require a wide range of physical assistance to compensate for their muscles slowly losing strength. We thus need robot collaborators that perceive humans and correct inefficient collaboration and unergonomic interaction that lead in the long term to musculoskeletal diseases. Ergo Cub is a humanoid robot endowed with embodied intelligence and designed for ergonomic interaction with humans. It is 150 centimeters tall and weighs 55.7 kilograms. Ergo Cub can fulfill the human need for physical assistance. Traditional robots, however, are designed to act for humans, but the aforementioned general need of human-robot collaboration requires robots to act with humans in a shared workspace. To do so, robots that are nowadays proficient in physical interaction should become as proficient in physical collaboration, and that's where ErgoCub comes into play. Number 4. Amica 
Developed by Engineer Darts, the leading designer and manufacturer of humanoid entertainment robots, Amika is the world's most advanced, most realistic humanoid robot representing the cutting-edge technology of humanoid robotics. Amika is a cloud connection platform that multiplies the power of artificial intelligence with an artificial body where AI and machine learning systems can be tested and developed on alongside Engineered Art's powerful Tritium robot operating system. Its hardware is a development based on Engineered Art's own research into humanoid robotics and built on their advanced Mesmer technology. The robot's congeniality makes it a perfect platform for fostering human-to-human -human connections in any metaverse or digital environment. Amica's combination of artificial limbs and ligaments, actuators and sensors are Arrays uses cutting-edge technology. However, its lower half is currently non-functional. Amika is fantastic with its smile, its ability to blink its eyes regularly, gasp in surprise, scratch its nose, and even have a staring contest with its owner for fun, among other high-tech functions. The emergence of AI as shown in the movies usually brings chaos with it. However, Amika's creators claim that the technology technological breakthrough would be used for different purpose, asserting that Amica will be the future phase of robots. AI will not only enable machines to learn and execute human activities in a more efficient way, but also to go beyond them. However, in order for humans and machines to collaborate more smoothly, machines must share our space, and humanoids are the greatest platforms for this. Researchers have been striving to teach non verbal communication to humanoids in order to make them more engaging and Amika is a significant step forward in this area. Number 3. Ada Ada named after iconic British mathematician Ada Lovelace has a female humanoid face. She is the world's first ultra-realistic artist robot. She draws and paints using cameras in her eyes, her AI algorithms, and her robotic arm. Created in February 2019, she had her first solo show at the University of Oxford, Unsecured Futures, where her art encouraged viewers to think about our rapidly changing world. She has since traveled and exhibited work internationally, including a virtual exhibition at the United Nations. She had her first show in a major museum, the Design Museum, in 2021. In 2021, she had a solo exhibition during the Venice Biennale. She continues to create art that challenges our notions of the artist and creativity in a post-humanist era. Brush clamped firmly in bionic hand, Ada's robotic arm moves slowly, dipping into a paint palette then making slow, deliberate strokes across the paper in front of her. This, according to Aidan Miller, the creator of the world's first ultra-realistic humanoid robot, Ada is mind-blowing and groundbreaking stuff. In a small room at London's British Library, Ada has become the first robot to paint as artists have painted for centuries. Camera eyes fix on her subject, AI algorithms prompt Ada to interrogate, select, make decisions, and ultimately create a painting. It's painstaking work, taking more than five hours of painting, but with no two works exactly the same. When completed in 2019, Ada could draw with her bionic arm. In 2022, she launched a new painting arm that enabled her to paint using a palette. Number 2. HRP-4C The HRP-4C, nicknamed MIM, is a feminine-looking humanoid robot created by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, a Japanese research facility. HRP-4C was devised as a female humanoid robot for entertainment events. It was designed to have a realistic look in face and to carry measurements reflecting the average figure of a young Japanese female. 
Mim measures 158 centimeters tall and weighs 48 kilos, including a battery pack. She has a realistic head and face and a figure of an average young Japanese female. She can move like a human, utilizing 30 body motors and another 8 dedicated to facial expressions. Mim can also respond to speech using speech recognition software and is capable of recognizing ambient sounds. Mim can also sing using the vocal synthesizer Vocaloid. An initial public demonstration was held on March 16, 2009, with another held at Tokyo's Digital Content Expo in 2010 to showcase recent upgrades that allow HRP4C to mimic human facial and head movements as well as execute dance steps. 2011 upgrades to MIM's human-like walking ability were shown in a video released by AIST and have been called super realistic. AIST researchers, like other scientific groups dedicated to robotics, have been working hard to create the perfect walking robot and to design walking technologies that can make their robots most closely resemble the way humans walk. Number 1. Victor 6000 A French robot that can dive to 20,000 feet underwater is on its way to help find a tourist submersible that vanished as it descended to the Titanic wreck and it could help free the sub if it is trapped. Victor 6000 can dive deeper than other equipment now at the site in the North Atlantic and has arms that can be remotely controlled to cut cables or perform other maneuvers to release a struck vessel, the operator said. Olivier Lefort, the head of naval operations at iFremer, the state-run French Ocean Research Institute which operates the robot, said that Victor is not capable of lifting the submarine up on its own, but he told Reuters the robot could help hook the 10-ton submersible called Titan to ship with the capacity to lift it to the surface. Victor is able to do visual exploration with all the video equipment it has. It is also equipped with manipulating arms which could be used to extricate the sub, such as by sectioning cables or things that would be blocking it at the bottom. Designed specifically for scientific oceanographic work, the submersible is equipped with a high-performance navigation system with a range of sensors. It can generate 3D optical reconstruction of the area under observation and is physically connected to a ship by an 8,000-meter electromechanical cable that supplies 20 kilowatts of electrical power. The device is controlled by engineers and thanks to the fiber optic cable has no operating time limit when making a dive. That's all for this video folks, see you next time.